And tonight, right here in Georgia, one company is installing its largest number of Bitcoin ATMs. Who knew they even had Bitcoin ATMs? Uh, 20 machines in Atlanta and Athens. The idea to make it easier than ever to purchase the hot commodity with the digital currency topping a new high of $11,000 per coin. But how exactly does this all work? And could the Bitcoin bubble suddenly burst, leaving everyone empty handed? Well, Faith Abube explains the concept. Bitcoin is a cryptocurrency. Think of it as digital money. It's the largest of more than 1,300 cryptocurrencies with $5 billion in assets. With paper money, a government decides when and how much cash to print. But with Bitcoin, you don't have to wait on the feds. People like you and me create Bitcoins through something called mining. It's where people solve super hard math problems on computers with Bitcoin software. Bitcoin has gained a reputation as a dark web currency because of its anonymity. But just this month, PricewaterhouseCoopers and Ernst & Young jumped on the wagon after the value of the Bitcoin skyrocketed to 11 times what it was last year. Each Bitcoin worth more than $11,000. But spending it is harder than trading. It. A Bloomberg article published this week revealed many of the locations listed as Bitcoin customers are closed or no longer accepted. But despite this, an estimated 10 to 20 million people still use the cryptocurrency.